Hello everybody and welcome to, welcome to Good Friday, welcome to the long weekend and welcome to Craft Stash Live. We have a fantastic launch for you today and it's called Butterfly Trails which is perfectly fitting in with the spring theme of this weekend isn't it? Now this is from Card Making Magic so we have got the lovely Christina Griffiths going to join us in just a moment for a chat about the new collection and other things as well I'm sure and she's also provided us with some beautiful beautiful videos that we can take a look at and just gather lots of inspiration from. Now if you want to be making cards like this, this is stunning, I think this is absolutely beautiful and also gatefolds so lots of different styles of gatefolds but with that butterfly being the main theme you can do it without the butterfly as well you'll see the versatility when I show you the products this is going to be the collection for you if you're loving these now what we've got today is the brand new collection all available on craft stash and we've also got an offer as well on card making magic so you can now save 40% and some of the classic card making magic products. So these are selected products. If you pop on to craftstash.co.uk or craftstash.us, you'll be able to see that banner scrolling in the top and that's going to give you today's offers. Scroll through until you find card making magic. If you click on it, that will take you directly to the items that are on offer. Now you'll need a code for this 40% off of those items and that's CMM40. So make sure you use that and grab yourself a bargain this bank holiday weekend. Now talking about the butterflies again, do you want to see the products, see the new collection that makes all of these? So come on down to my desk. So I've got see, I've got lots of butterflies fluttering around here, but I will talk you through these cards in just a moment before we go and greet the lovely Christina. So we have got starting off with these two die sets, I think. These are, they're not identical die sets, but they are similar. So you can kind of choose between the two or if like me, you love both, you can go for both. Now these are your gatefolds, a beautiful butterfly trails gatefolds now this is your six by six card base and this is your five by seven as you can see you've got a lot of elements in there you've got things like your mats and layers to be able to create beautiful panels inside of your cards you've got butterflies in there you've got stunning butterfly wings as well and these come on both sides so you can create mirror and reflection effects too you can use them as solids or you can use the panels to cut in the intricate detail so if I just show you let's show you this one again you can see the detail that's being cut in there to them so really simple to get the most gorgeous lace effect you can otherwise use them as solid so just the solid butterflies on their own so if I just open this card up you can see how this side panel has been used just as the solid without the intricate panel cut in and then the panel has been placed over the top on just the side piece there's so many combinations of these honestly you're getting 26 and 27 dies in each pack that's a lot of metal and as you can see obviously they are not to scale either so then in addition to just coordinate with those beautiful gatefold cards we've also got some sentiments now these sentiments are large let me just take them in fact I'll just show you on this card look hello sunshine look at the size of that you're getting the sentiment and then you're also getting that drop shadow to fit behind it as well they work so well so we've got butterfly wishes as well you can see on that card over here we've got just for you really bold statement pieces aren't they we've also got always in my thoughts wishing you well and birthday wishes we saw that one so butterfly kisses is another one as well absolutely gorgeous I love those and I think they're essentials I think they will go for so many different occasions then we have this is a stamp and die combination now let me see for example this card here has been made using that excluding the sentiment that we've just seen you can see all these butterflies at the side have been stamped and heat embossed and then cut out we've got the same here with these butterflies just that kaleidoscope of butterflies trailing up the card now these are if I take the stamps out so you can see the size of them and also the dies as well so you've got the stamps there gorgeous butterflies lots of different positions some are fluttering some are sitting you've got beautiful flourishes as well and then included in the set you have the dies and these are going to cut the outlines for you making everything super simple so we've got the stamp and die combination as well and lastly in this collection 
we have the gorgeous Butterfly Trails verses. Now, what I love about Christina's sentiment stamps is that they are suitable very often for both the front of the card and for inside as well. So you have some larger sentiments here. So we've got may all your wishes come true, just fluttering by to say hi, wishing you a big slice of happiness and lots of cake. I love that one, especially right now. <laughs> We've also got some little additional butterfly stamps and flourishes too. So you can see how everything just works together so, so well. Let's just take a little look at, again at some of those cards, some that are maybe just, just peeking off. We've got that gorgeous acetate cut there with the mats and layers in the background. We've got shaped cards. So Christina's done a lovely video on how to create these shaped cards. And these are all top opening. So she's also creating actually a video. I had a sneak peek earlier of a video she's creating with a very different look. So we've got all of these different shapes and she shows us how to make these. She's creating a video on this one here. So this is your gatefold, your traditional gatefold. Um, and then the, I need to show you this one as well because this is really clever. If you did take away the butterflies and just look at that gorgeous panel sitting in there, I think actually that doesn't have to be overly feminine it doesn't have to be with a butterfly theme you could put absolutely anything over there and you could use those panels just to sit really nicely inside a six by six or of course with the five by seven version inside a card of that sort of size so lots of versatility oh this is one more i love where the butterfly is just sitting on the edge of the card at an angle gorgeous so lots and lots to see but shall we pop over to christina and have a little chat about this collection Good morning or good afternoon, Christina. How are you? Thank you for joining us. I'm very well, thank you, and thank you for asking me. You're welcome. I hope this isn't interfering too much because it's just started raining and the rain is beating down on the on the window. No, honestly, I can't hear a thing. Certainly not from here okay. anyway. Um, well, hopefully that rainy weather won't last too long over the Easter holiday, but it is, you know, traditionally bank holiday. We usually get a bit of rain, don't we? We do, but I'm hoping it's going to be nice so that we can get out for some walks and, and enjoy the weather. How's your gardening coming along this spring? Uh, <laughs> I've only got a postage stamp, so I don't have much gardening to do. Most of mine is in big pots. Oh, nice. But nice. I'll tell you what I have just bought. I've just bought um, a peony, a tree oh. peony, and oh, apparently they grow up to... 10 foot tall wow. so if anybody's got any advice on growing tree peonies i'd be more than grateful <laughs> there we go let's forget the butterflies let's go all in for gardening advice today instead <laughs> but talking about uh, spring and butterflies butterfly trails beautiful new collection we've just been through the products they are stunning and i've got lots of your cards here as well I know you've been really busy making cards and videos for your YouTube. Um, you've also made us two wonderful videos to show here today too. Um, what is What was the inspiration behind the Butterfly Trails collection and those gatefold cards? They're just, they're just a little bit different to an ordinary opening card. I, this Butterfly Trails collection is absolutely beautiful. There's so much you can do with it. I'm trying to keep my videos to a sort of a different way of using them each time. Love so it. you've got two there. I did two videos yesterday and I've got some more lined up. Wow. But it's a fabulous collection. I really, really do like it. I must admit, Christina, I think I shouldn't have favourites, but I think so far 2020, this one may be the one for me. Um, oh, is God. Absolutely. So I, I love a gatefold card, but I also love the versatility that these cards offer. Yes. With being able to inlay those with those panels, all the decorative pieces or or not or have them solid and you know all those different combinations yeah and i know the paper pack was brought out with the the pretty books collection yeah but it works so well with this especially if you arrange the dies along the flowers that are on some of the papers it really does fit on those wings beautifully absolutely yeah so some so just so people are aware this is the paper pack i'll show you these cards in a moment um, the papers that have been used. And you use these papers in your second video, don't you, with some of the shaped cards yes. that you're doing? 
So we'll get to see those. Well, shall we jump straight into your first video demonstration? Okay. Um, this one is the five by seven gatefold. Yes, it is. I love seeing this put together. It's an absolutely beautiful card. So we'll come back and have a chat once we've watched this. Okay. Hi everybody, this is Christina from Card Making Magic. So this is the new Butterfly Trails collection and in this we have a 5x7 um, gatefold card, a 6x6 one, we have a stamp and die set which is beautiful, um, beautiful designs. We have the Butterfly Trails sentiments and these make quite big sentiments and die cut them. So these are what we've got. And then you have a separate stamp set that you can use to stamp the sentiments either inside your card or on the front. But there's a beautiful collection to work with. Now for today's card I'm going to show you how to make the gatefold card and I'm going to use the 5x7. So these are the two gatefold ones, one is 5x7, the other is 6x6 and although the different sizes, the principle is the same for both the cards. So these are the dies that you get in the pack and they are quite big dies. So this is the one that will make the actual butterfly and these are the layers that you can get with it. These are the layers to create the back panel and any of the insides. Obviously this is the, bot the body line. And then these are the ones that will create the side panels to make the butterfly into the gatefold for you. So these and this large one here are the ones that we're going to cut first. And these will create the panels that we need to create our base card. So for my base I'm going to use turquoise and then we'll highlight it with some white as we go further into the card. So let's start with the turquoise. Now we're going to take these pieces and we're going to cut these. So we will need some big pieces to cut them. So you're going to need one of these. I don't know if you can get that. Yes, you can get that out of the same sheet. And you're going to need one of these. So those are your three pieces. So now with the three pieces die cut, we can pop these dies back over there. Get rid of this surplus piece. And there's our gatefold. Now we need to bend these. And I've used quite a strong card. So I would say this is about a 250, 255 GSM. So once we've got those folded, these are going to fold the other way. And now they're going to sit on the opposite sides of the card. So they're going to sit along there tuck that into the back there and that's your basic gatefold card created. Now before you go any further let's decide what decoration we need on this card. Now from the turquoise card that's left I'm going to take the large butterfly and the body line and I'm going to die cut these. So there's my piece cut. And then with some white card, I'm going to cut exactly the same die again. So once I have this piece cut, I can take these inner pieces to the butterfly's wings and I'm going to add these to my shape and I'm going to die cut these. Now I'm going to do them in two separate pieces to make sure that I get a decent cut. 
So we'll do one piece first and then we'll do the second one. So once you've done that side, take that piece off, add the other one to the other side and die cut that the same. So there's my white piece now die cut with the filigree pieces to it. But I've changed my mind about that and I'm going to have a patterned piece cut out and that will sit underneath my filigree piece. Now you can, if you wish, add this to the plain piece that you cut and then that will strengthen this even more when you add the filigree piece to the top. But don't glue anything in place just yet because we haven't finished with the die cutting. Now to add some more pattern to what is going to be the inside of the back of the card, start with die number one, start with the smallest one and that is die number one. So one, two, take die number three, four and five. So we're going to add these to some white card. So we'll add the largest die first, then the inner die, and then this one. And this is going to create a frame. So we need to fasten these all together so that they don't move. And we're going to die cut that out through the machine. So once you've done that, you can remove these very carefully from your card. There's your frame. Keep that inner panel there because you could use that on another project. And with these dies still fastened together, you're going to add these to some turquoise card. But before you die cut this out, you're now going to remove this middle die. So we'll take that out. We'll keep the others fastened together. And that will give you a frame now that sits exactly the same as the other size, as the other frame, and they will fit together. So we'll die cut this piece out now. And that now gives you a solid piece that will sit underneath the filigree piece. We need to get rid of all the little pieces that are left in the die. And once we've done that, because these were taped together, they will give you now frames exactly the same. So that gives you a nice solid layer underneath your filigree pattern. Now for these side panels, I want another piece that is decorative, but I want it in white. So these will fit just in there. But as I said, I want mine in white. And I don't need to cut all this piece to get it. So I'm just going to take a piece of white card and leave a small border around two of the sides and just make little marks on my card. And then I'm going to cut those panels, two of them, this size for my sides. So once I have these side panels cut, I'm going to add my filigree pieces to the panel and I'm going to die cut both of these pieces. So I have die cut those panels, they're now ready to add to my card and from the sentiment set I've cut butterfly kisses in black and I've added it to some white card and that will sit on my card as well. So now let's put this, this card together. So I've added some glue to my mat, I've taken up a little makeup sponge and I'm just going to add the glue to the design. And this is for me is the quickest way of adding this glue to all these intricate little pieces. Now once I've done that I can add this to this panel. I 
and then I can do exactly the same on the other side. the layers to your butterflies glued you're only going to glue it to one side of your card front if you glue it to both you won't be able to open the card so that's how your card is going to stand as a gatefold and there it is once it's closed all the patterns marry up and then in the middle we can add the butterflies body and we can decorate that now any way we would like so I'm just going to put some glue on this and add this body to that body line there. inside is, is um, decorated as well so I'm going to take the second die down again and again I'm going to take some of the patterned paper and I'm going to cut a panel for the back and this will just hide all the workings now that are on the back of that card. So there we have a beautifully finished butterfly card that's a gatefold. Now in my stash I've found some bling and I'm just going to finish this off now by decorating the body line to the card. So I'm just going to pop some bling in along here and down there and we'll snip that off at the bottom. And that 
just adds a little bit of decor to the, the card. So there's just one way to make the card and I've used the 5x7 Butterfly Trails Gatefold card. Christina, that was an absolutely beautiful video, beautiful card. I've got the pleasure of having that in my hands as well. Thank you for sending that through to me. It's gorgeous. I really love it. And I love that you've got so much versatility with each of these gatefolds. Um, sorry, That's go done just a little bit different to the way the gatefold is supposed to be done. Yeah. Because I've actually put the full butterfly on the front of the card. Yeah. But it's just another way of doing things. It is. And presumably you can do exactly the same technique with the six by six as well. Whatever you do with one, you can do with the other. Lovely. They're both, they're just different sizes. One is the five by seven is tall and skinny and the <laughs> six by six is short and fat like me. <laughs> no, <laughs> that's ridiculous. The one's you. <laughs> no, 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 that's rid absolutely ridiculous. <laughs> but but I, yeah, I they, do, they do exactly the same things, just different sizes. Lovely, lovely. Thank you. Um, so, Christina, we've got three fantastic giveaways. Um, I would love people to be commenting to be able to win. And what we'll do, as it's a bank holiday weekend this weekend, we're going to leave it until early next week. So give people the weekend to kind of comment. Um, but would you like to offer a question for people to answer to be able to win the giveaway? Well, hoping that the weather's going to be decent. Mm -hmm. um, people can just tell me, what they plan on doing over the Easter weekend. Are they going to go away and sit in a traffic jam? <laughs> or, <laughs> or are they going to stay at home and do some gardening? Yeah, um, whatever, true. whatever they plan on doing, crafting, working, you know, relaxing, whatever. Just let me know what you're doing for the weekend. Lovely. So there's your question to answer, everybody. Just pop in the comments what you're going to be doing for the Easter weekend. Maybe you don't celebrate Easter. That's fine. Still, what will you be doing this long bank holiday weekend? Um, and we will pick some winners early next week um, and we will contact you to let you know you've won. So, Christina, we have another fantastic video from you as well. Um, you do? This one's a little bit different. So this is creating some shaped butterfly cards, isn't it? So it I is. love these. I love these because I think this shape as well, the size could be perfect for bunting and home decor as well. It doesn't have to be for cards. But they are. Can size. I just can I just tell you, Lou, if you open that one out now, you'll see that it's joined at the top. Just open the card right up. Oh yes. And it's it's joined at the top. Yeah. Yeah. Now I've got another video um coming up that is a side fold and that is with the butterfly joined at the side. Oh. So, so although it's still a shape card, it's done differently to the video that you've got and that will be up next week. And where's the, where where can we find that one? You'll find that on my YouTube channel. I'll also add it to my blog. Lovely. So please go and follow Christina, everybody. But let's take a look at our exclusive video that we have here at Craft Stash <laughs> using that gorgeous butterfly die. So here's another look at the Butterfly Trails collection. So you have a 5x7 one, a 6x6, some sentiments, Butterfly Trails sentiments, Butterfly Trails die and stamp set, and a stamp set on its own. Now these two will make gatefold cards for you, which I've shown you in another video. But today I'm going to use this and we're going to make some shaped cards. So these are the dies that you will get in the set and there are quite a lot of dies. So we'll make cards with these in another video but for this one we're going to use this set. 
by changing the colours to your basic card will create a different look for each one. So you could make baby cards in pink or blue. You could make um, cards for your ladies, lady friends in all of these colours. You could keep them quite plain and simple for male cards. But whatever you do, you're going to make the base card the same. So to create your base, you're going to need two pieces of card. Now there's two ways you can make your base. You can either cut this panel out singly three times or you can fold your panel in half. And this is just an A4 sheet of card. So I'm just going to fold that in half and I'm going to place this on the card with the wings just off the top. Now once that's been cut, that will give you a panel that looks like this, but of course it's been flattened at the top because that's where the join is and that's your base card. Now to make sure that that flat piece isn't showing on your completed card, you're going to need to cut another one and that then will fasten to this, that will glue in place missing the top portions and that will create your base card for you. Now as I said to you the other way you can do it is to cut those all out in separate pieces and then with this you're going to fold it back by about half an inch. You're going to glue this piece to the top just along those little tabs. So you're just going to fold that in there, marry it all up and that will now give you a card that stands in tent fold. So there we have five cards now cut in different colours. As I said to you the tops are flattened so they've each got another panel that will sit on the top. And now we can start to decorate them. So each of these will get adhered to the base butterfly. And then for this one, I want some gold card. So I'm going to cut this again. And then in this, I'm going to add these patterned pieces. So I'm going to fasten them in place so that they don't slip. And I'm going to run this through my die cutting machine again. Now you may find it's better to cut them in two separate pieces. That way you'll get the pressure evenly over the die and it will cut nice and evenly for you. Now once you've done that, that will fit on the front of your butterfly. And then from some silver card, I'm going to repeat the same process with my dies. So there's my gold and my silver um, tops done for my butterflies. Now for this one I'm going to use some acetate and this is patterned acetate and I'm going to pop my die on there and run that through the machine. So there's my acetate piece cut but because this acetate is so thick I've managed to tear off one of the antenna. So I've taken the separate body piece and I've cut another one and I also decided to cut an extra body piece for each of the um, first three and for this one we're going to use some patterned paper. Now this is from a paper pack that is for the Pretty Book Collection by Card Making Magic and I'm going to use this to decorate my butterfly. Now in this paper pack you get two of each design so I've decided to take these and I'm going to use the dies that create the centre parts for the butterflies and I'm going to place this one along there and on this one I'm going to use the corresponding one for the other side and I'm going to place that along there and I'm going to die cut both of those, those out now for my butterfly's wings. So there's my wings cut for my butterfly and from the same paper I'm going to use this long strip and I'm going to cut the body line. 
So there's my basic butterflies done for four. I've, set, I've cut the body lines separately, but for this one I'm going to do something different. So I'm alternating my colours between plain, which is pearly, and glitter. And using these dies from the, the, the wing section, I have cut the patterns that I want. So let me show you what I've done. So with these, I have cut them in glitter. And we'll just add it onto this one, that's the base. And then with the plain ones, which are the next dies down, I have cut them in uh, the pearl card, which will sit in there. So the first thing we need to do is attach all these bases to the bodies. But the thing I'm going to do with this first is that I'm going to add some paint effect on this. And I'm going to use brush o crystals. So with these, I'm just going to add a little bit of the powder to the base card, just a little bit. Now I don't imagine that you can see that, but then I'm going to take some water and I'm going to spritz it. And that will add the colour, that will make the colour pop. So I'm just going to add some more, because I want it a little bit deeper. And again, we'll just spritz that. Now what we need to do now is leave that to dry. So while that's drying, we'll get on with the rest of the, 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 the designs, the cards. So just adding a little bit of glue around the edges. I'm going to add these to the base. So we make sure that everything marries up now is your base card and that will stand in tent fold. And now we can get on with the rest of the decoration. So to this blue one, I'm going to add the silver card. And all I'm going to do is just put some curve in those wings. Very gently, because I don't want to rip it. And we'll fold it up from the body line. And we'll add this to that card base now, just adding glue along the body. Now that's got some curve to the wings, but that will also stand in tenfold. Now to add the body line, I'm going to use some foam tape. So there's my foam tape on the back. I'm just going to line that up with the body line. Press that in place. And that's one card now ready for decorating. So let's do this next one. The wings are going to sit along here. But before I add these wings, I'm going to use these same dies, which are these. And I'm going to create another base for this to strengthen these, because these, these are only paper. So I'm going to use some pink card and cut those again. So once I've cut those again, I can add these to the top of those and that will give that a little bit more strength. Now we can also add some curve to these wings. We've added the base together. We can add some curve to these. And they will sit along there. And that will go there. Now to keep those rings, wings raised a little bit, I'm going to add some foam underneath. So we'll add some foam along there and some along there.
and then we'll add glue to this end portion there and that can now fit on the wings along there and we'll do the same to this side just add a little bit of glue down there and we'll line that up on the other side press it down press the centre portion down and then we can add with some foam tape underneath it the body line and again marry up the antenna so that it all fits in place and it does help when you take the backing paper off wigs on this one are raised a little bit now it's not quite as easy to bend the wings on the acetate but we'll still add this piece to the base I'm sorry for all the banging, there's some building work going on further up the road. Now you can add some shape to this, but you won't get a lot of shape in it. But again, you're just going to glue this along that body line. So we'll chop that antenna off as well. In fact, we'll chop all those off. That's it. And now, when we add the body line in, the antenna will be separate. So we can do that along there. Now you can add that with foam tape if you wish, but do be aware that the foam tape may show through the acetate. So we'll spread this glue out, we'll add that to the centre and once that dries that glue will dry clear. So there's our third one done. Now let's come to the, the orange one and again we're going to add this to the base. And again, make sure it's all married up and the antenna. And now we can start to add in these pieces. And we'll add these pieces in there with some foam. So I'm just adding the foam pads around the edge. And this is the inner edge, so that the outer edge of the wings is still free. And we'll add this on there. Now, because we're going to be adding the rest of this to glitter, we're going to need to add a double piece of foam and wet glue. So we'll add this along there, otherwise you'll find it won't stick to the glitter. But the wet glue will make that stay in place. So we can add this along here, make sure that's pressed down. And then we can add the other pieces in, either with foam pads or with wet glue. So in the time that I've been doing these, my other butterfly is now dry and just to add a little more interest to this I'm going to colour it in with some um, some Copic markers. So we'll just colour that in and we'll bring the orange out along the wings just in flakes. And the same on this side. And then we'll go to a different shade. We'll go to this one, I think. 
and we'll take that just a little bit further. So once you've blended that out and you've added in your gold and you've added it to the top of your base card, you then have another card ready that you can decorate. Now from so the Butterfly Trails Sentiments I've cut Birthday Wishes in silver and I'm going to add that to my pink card. And I've dotted some pink pearls around the centres. Now down the centre of this lilac one I'm going to add this bling. So I'm just going to dot this down here and we'll shorten that down along the bottom. That's it, I will find a sentiment to go in that. On this silver one I think we'll add some pearls down the body line. So for my butterflies I've used some of the um, Butterfly Trail sentiments on these two. I've die cut Hello Sunshine and Birthday Wishes. For this one I've used the um, I've used the Butterfly Trails die and stamp set and I've stamped in black ink and then clear embossed on silver card two of the butterflies. I've added some bling to this and some flowers down the side and for this one I've added a new home to the glitter card and I've just added in some flowers. Now all I need to do now is just glitter up my flowers and these will be ready. So I'm just going to take some glue and just dot this onto the the petals. So now with the glitter we can just sprinkle some glitter onto the top of the flowers. And once that glue is dry that glitter will lie flat. So there are all my shaped butterfly cards. I've used various techniques on them to get the look that I want. I've used gold and silver um, glitter uh, mirror card and I've used acetate on this one, glitter card on this. The paper pack that I've used is this Pretty Books Backgrounds paper from Card Making Magic and I've used the 6x6 Butterfly Trails collection along with the Butterfly Trails sentiments and the die and stamp set as Fly Trails Verses. That is another gorgeous set of cards, Christina. Beautiful butterfly silhouettes there. Um, I think I could make those all day. And you've proved that by all the different colours and styles that you can do with that sort of uh, open, the top opening of the butterfly. So I look forward to seeing that side opening as well. Well, Soon. they've got quite a few um, ideas in that video that you've just watched. There'll be a few more videos coming up in the next lot of um ideas in the next lot of videos trying to use the dies in a different way love that i love that you really getting your money's worth aren't you when you do um purchase you are because them. there's so much you can do with this set yeah absolutely um so that is the demonstrations i will recap the offers and everything in a minute but i'm going to let you go and see to your pots and see to ruby um but i'd just love to know what is coming up next for card making magic what is in the pipeline there is another new collection coming out um, and that's called Perfectly Matched. Oh. And each side is is like a, a mirror image of the other. So again, you can make gatefolds, you can use backgrounds, you can do them as the front of your cards, oh. but they are it's a lovely set. And in the stamp set, there's some beautiful frames that you can add to your cards. Oh, sounds exciting. I can't wait to see those. I'll be rummaging around the back of the website seeing when they come live. Um, <laughs> you, so where are we now? So we're in April. Will that one be June time? Yes. Lovely. Yes. Okay. Brilliant. We will keep an eye out for that. We will find you. Can you just give us the uh, where we find you on YouTube and your blog, the names of those? 
you can find me on YouTube. I am Christina1716. But if you just put in Card Making Magic, you'll find me anyway. Lovely. And my blog is Flowers, Ribbons and Pearls. Which is perfect for you. <laughs> <laughs> I Lovely. came to me in a light bulb moment. Oh, it's just it just sums up everything that you do. It really does. Well, thank you again for the videos. Thank you for joining us today as well. Um, I really love this collection, so brilliant job with this. And I look forward to seeing you for that perfectly matched collection soon. But have a brilliant Easter weekend, Christina. Thank you. And we'll see you again very soon. Thank you. Have a good weekend, Lou, and everybody. And don't forget to let me know what you're doing. <laughs> Absolutely. I'll see you again soon. Thank you. Bye. Take care. Bye bye. Isn't Christina absolutely lovely? So, yes, as she reminded you, please do be commenting. Um, whether you're watching on Facebook or YouTube, we will go through all the comments after the bank holiday weekend and we will pick out three winners and they will be for a selection of the Butterfly Trails collection. That will be coming out to you. All you need to do is answer that question that Christina put to you and that's what are your plans over this long weekend? Doesn't matter if you celebrate Easter or not. This is just absolutely anybody can answer this so just let us know we'll pick those later on now don't forget as well we have got that offer on previous card making magic collections i'd love to know actually which is your favorite card making magic collection i think at the moment this one is definitely in the running for me but talking about the old ones the classics maybe so um go and have a look at those online that's craftstash.co.uk or craftstash.us you can get 40 percent off some of the selected card making magic today that's using the code CMM40. Now we've got a really exciting week ahead next week, um, obviously after the bank holiday Monday where we're all sunburnt from the garden and yeah we can hope can't we, we shall see what the weather pans out like um, and full of barbecue food maybe, who knows. But we will be back next week, lots of new launches of course, lots going on for the Friday Live as well. So I will see you next week, please do join us, don't forget to comment and uh, make sure that you are entering in for that giveaway and I'll see you soon. Have a fantastic Easter weekend everybody and take care, bye bye.